Hello guys, it's a boy Anomaly from Sweden. Anomaly 3 upload, wow, which is also coincidentally as many uh, personalities as I have here. <laughs> Today, we are going to be looking at very cool skin easter eggs or things you maybe didn't know about skins and their textures which I know about or have found out about recently. The first skin that I'm going to take a look at is the Deagle Sunset Storm. Now, you may have noticed that there are two different types of Sunset Storm but you can see they look basically the same. While there is actually a big difference if you look at the handle of the skin of this Sunset Storm storm you will see that it's just the waves pattern and it just keeps going as regular but if you inspect the other sunset storm you will see that there is a little man here in every version of this sunset storm there's always a little man on the handle which is kind of fun and very creepy if you ask me i still don't know why they decided to make it two skins instead of just making it into a rare pattern but whatever this next one requires me to go in game and the skin that i'm going to show you guys is the sg5 553 hazard pay now this one as you can see is a really nice skin it's got the caution the bright yellow color it looks kind of like a construction site but one little easter egg that you may not have seen which is quite easy to miss if you're just inspecting it like this if you look at the top of the scope there is a little cone like the vlc logo this you can easily see in game and it's very prominent and once you see it you really can't unsee it this is the, always the thing that I see and notice when I'm playing the SG553 and I think it's really fun. It's like a little uh, buddy, you have a little friend on your uh, scope. And I asked my stream about this and many people said they had never noticed it. And many people even said that they didn't even know that the scope had one of these things sticking up from it. So whoever made this skin, the hazard pay, big props to you for seeing the shape and making it into a fun little friend. And yeah, this uh, cone is actually the reason I have haven't sold the hazard pay. I've had it for quite a while even though it's losing value because I just can't say bye to my friend. Next up is the CC75 Polymer. Now, now this one is pretty interesting because as you can see, this is what most people think it looks like. It's blue details and a little bit of blue but mostly green or grey. Well, that's not true. There is actually a rare pattern where you have it fully blue. Now, I really like this one because now it fits so well with the other details like the trigger and these screws so it looks really good and here is another one which is basically fully blue you can see there is still some gray or some green but for the most part in the game this looks fully blue and the two pattern ids that i found was 411 and 842 i'm not sure if there's other ones i just found these from a quick search next skin the desert eagle trigger discipline now this easter egg isn't actually on the skin it's on the texture pattern and in the pattern you can see that in this unused section it says dedicated to my brother that is actually a uh, very wholesome dedicated to my brother very nice sadly you can't see it in game but that's just a fun little easter egg next easter egg is the negative loudmouth now you can't see this one on the skin as it is either so we're gonna have to go in game for this one as well now while in game you need to reload it and once you reload it you will see there is a smiley on the cover, or actually on the bottom of the mag cover. I'll redo it in slow motion. You can see that he's gonna lift the top off to remove the ammo belt, and you can see, wow, there is a little smiley there looking extra happy, extra cute, and in-game, in real time, it is actually fast enough that you can see it. So, you have a little friend while you reload, making you very happy. Also, hey, look at that, the SG hazard pay. <laughs> The next easter egg is on the AK Cattel. Now, this has been mentioned by a few people. It is very hard to see in game, but on the texture pattern here at the front side, right over here, you can see there is a skull and there is uh, this little eye over here and a casket and a coffin. Those are pretty uh, known, but this one at the front isn't. Now, it's a bit hard to see. It's easier to see on the texture pattern. You can see here is a triangle with an eye. It is the Illuminati logo. Very spooky. Next easter egg is also in-game. It is 
is on the CT side, you have the 5.7 capillary. Now, you might think that it's a weird skin because it's got all these veins, but they don't connect to anything. Well, that's not completely true because when you reload, you can see very briefly that there is something on the magazine. Now, I've slowed it down and you can see on the mag, there is a heart, a human heart. There we go. You can see human heart. Cartoon, very scary, and that's what's connecting the veins. Wow, what a fucking easter egg. <laughs> Next easter egg is on the Glock catacombs. Now, I wasn't aware of this until one guy in my chat pointed it out. I just thought that this was a uh, set pattern or a randomized pattern of skulls, but if you go to the texture pattern, you can see there is actually a butterfly on one of the skulls. There is also a, like, goat skull or whatever, and a uh, engraved skull, and also also a vampire and I never knew that there were these many different types of skulls so I guess like the butterfly would maybe be the rare pattern that's kind of cool next easter egg is the Glock Franklin and the P250 Franklin this isn't really an easter egg just something I found interesting in the texture pattern you can see there's nothing that's crazy it's just a bunch of hundred dollar bills but once I zoomed in I checked some of the serial numbers and information about them now we can see the serial number is KB46 etc and if we look up the actual serial number you can see that it has a prefix which means it is over five dollar which it is so that's correct also it has a K prefix which means that the note is from series 2006A, so very specific. And it seems the actual serial number isn't found in any database, but still, it's very interesting to see. And we can also see that the bills are from batch B2, and batch B2 is made in New York City. The first Franklin skin was the P250 from the Bank collection, and we can see on the map Bank, it says it's a demolition map taking place just outside the downtown district of an unspecified US city. Well, now we can see that city is probably New York. Wow. And yeah, I spent way too much time looking up these numbers and serial numbers. Next easter egg is on the R8 Skull Crusher, and for this one, we also need to go in-game. Now, just by looking at the side view of this skin, which is the one you see the most, it's looking very boring. It's got some flames, it just looks spray painted and kinda boring. But while in game I've changed my view model to show it a bit more, you can see that there is a little skeleton man on the back of the pistol. And if you just pull the trigger on the R8 without shooting, you will see. <laughs> This is absolutely my favorite pistol skin now. I really love when guns have this added mechanic, like the Galil Chatterbox. This one is literally so fun to play with. Hello guys, it's your boy nobody from Sweden. <laughs> Next easter egg is another R8, the R8 Junkyard. Now, this one also requires you to go in-game, because you can't see it from this side view. And you can see, it has nothing to do with the hammer, but in fact, it has to do with the cylindrical magazine of the R8. If you shoot one bullet, nothing happens. If you shoot two bullets, nothing happens. If you shoot three bullets, you're starting to run low on ammo. So at the top, you can see, it says, you can do it. Giving you some motivation to ace the round and if you shoot another bullet you will see there comes another text probably you can do it probably <laughs> and then on the last bullet there's nothing more uh, and then you just have to reload uh, i think this one is pretty fun because this is something not many people know or notice when they're playing and just shooting in game next one many people are probably going to know it's the tech nine hardest this one you can see has to do with the wear if i play this video you will see that the more battle scarred it gets the worse the float these helmets are turning into skulls which is very spooky you can see here easily on the uh, handle that that's a skull very spooky and now when it's battle scarred almost all of them are skulls and at the absolute end with a 0.99 float they're all basically skulls very spooky next easter egg is pretty small and it's not really an easter egg it's just something i've never noticed on the ak rat rod if you just inspect it in game like this there isn't really anything fun about it it just looks a bit deteriorated but you can see on the texture pattern there's actually a smiley face over here and that's actually a screw over here 
here. You can see better if I show it like this. It is a screw, which is a smiley face. I've never seen it in game because I don't pay attention to that small of a thing. And also it's a bit hard to see if you play a regular resolution, even harder if you play 4-3. Next Easter egg is on the op dragon lore. Now I thought I knew everything about the dragon lore, but apparently I didn't. Now in the game on the dragon lore, back here with the thing that you like pull back, the bolt I guess, you can see that it says hellfire. Now this I have seen before and I didn't pay much attention to it. I just thought eh, that's kind of cool. But you can see on top of that there are three things which I never really knew what they were. But by going to the texture we can actually see what those things are. It's a bit uh, hard to see but these three things are skulls. You can see it a bit better here. Very scary. Hellfire and three skulls. I never knew about the skulls. Next one, the op prince. This one is very easy to see. The text. It says Pax TB Marse Evangelista Meus. And uh, I don't speak Latin but I can speak Google. Now the op prince is from the canals collection. Now the map canals is set in the Piazza San Marco in Venice in Italy. In the Piazza San Marco there is a statue called the Lion of Saint Mark. And on the Lion of Saint Mark, this is a whole rabbit hole, there is a quote engraved that is Pax Tibi Marse Evangelista Meus, which means peace unto you, Mark, my evangelist. Jesus Christ, that's the most rabbit hole Easter egg I've ever seen. But very cool quote, very accurate from the Canals collection and a very recognizable and very fitting quote. Knowing this makes my respect for the op prince even greater. Next one is the Galil Caution. Now, on this skin there is actually a rare pattern that I was not aware of. The rare pattern being a man falling down. You can see on this one, you can see the man here at the back. Very interesting and I guess the best position would be to have him over here, which uh, would be kind of fun maybe on the magazine as well. So when you reload, it's like he's falling down. Not the craziest one, but still interesting because I had no idea this one had a rare pattern. Second to last Easter egg is on the M4 in the living color. This Easter egg is actually something that you can't see on the gun, only on the texture. And on the texture, you can see in the top left corner, it says, let yourself love, let yourself dream. Wow, what a nice fucking quote. I am no longer depression. And the final easter egg is on the Fever Dream Scout. This one is also one that you can only see in the texture pattern, not in game. And it's this text, where it says, I hope that I crash and die. Very scary. And uh, considering what happened to other renowned CSGO skin YouTubers, maybe this is like, that's hella cursed. So, thank you very much for watching this video. It's probably a little bit longer than usual on this channel, but I wanted to go in depth on some cool skins which had rare patterns or cool functions with them which I was not aware about. So thank you guys for watching. If you want to see another one of these uh, where I can go through a lot more skins, there's also a ton of stickers which have hidden messages or hidden meanings and easter eggs where you can place the sticker in a certain position on a skin and it turns into something crazy. If you want to see that, let me know. But thank you guys for watching now. I'm going to go cry because I'm a 26 year old man whose main interest is pixels. Wow. <laughs> you have a little friend making you very happy. Little friend, so fun to play with. No longer depression.